I decided to show you my, well, it's my five minute party starter. Whether I've planned the party two weeks ahead or I wanna make a party in like, uh, everybody's gonna come over in two hours and I gotta go out to the store and get back and get everything going and rocking and rolling. Antipasto is your friend. That's what this segment is called here. So I'm gonna show you my fabulous little antipasto platter and it comes together literally in just a couple of minutes flat. First of all, you start with this. This is garlic and herb cheese, it's called Boursin, and you get it in the grocery store, regular grocery store. Then you buy store-bought pesto, and you just do this, the little shimmy shake right down over the top here. You pour pesto down over the garlic and herb cheese. Save that for a little snack for mommy later. And then you take a few, just anything red, a little bit of uh, fresh tomato, a little bit of sun-dried tomato like I have here, a little bit of roasted red pepper, something red pretty. You pile that right down over the top there and you have an instant torta. And then you take, <laughs> save it till the end. You'll be doing this for five solid minutes. Um, no, seriously, this is a super fun, little easy, cute thing and it looks like an Italian flag. It's red, white, and green. And it tastes good. Then you take your store-bought, your little breadsticks here. That's for the dipping and the dunking. And you pile them up in a water glass to give a little height to the back of your board. And then when they get ready to eat it, they could just dive right into the cheese and the pesto all like that and just, mm, mm. I'll be waiting on a second. Okay. So, also, for the girls who aren't eating the breadsticks or the boys that are on the Atkins or whatever, you can put out some celery sticks too. Put them right there. Heads up, have a recipe. You can use a lot of celery in tomorrow because nobody ever eats the celery sticks, but whatever. <laughs> then you just go to the deli section and anything with an Italian name, anything with, uh, an O or an I on the end of it in the meat case, get a bunch of it. <laughs> then you bring home like your capicola or your nice spicy calabrese salami. This is just sliced. You just take it out of the deli bags. This is a nice air dried beef, a brezziola, big pile of prosciutto di parma. And you just fan that all around and you put a fork on it. Then that's done. Then you can put a little pickup meat down in the front. We call these pickup meats because they're easy to pick up. And they used to also get shoplifted quite a lot back at Macy's Marketplace back in the day when I was the uh, fresh foods manager there. We called them pickup because this is the thing that we fish out of people's jackets most often. <laughs> they come in and steal them from us, but whatever. So you put your pickup salami down in the front. Again, all sorts of diff different textures and heights and things going on. Okay, so I got a couple of nuts going on, and then you need the nice salty olives, big bowl of olives. So whenever you serve olives, remember to have a place for the pits. Put the pit dish right alongside there. Otherwise, you're gonna be picking pits out of your sofa for months. <laughs> then you take some little store-bought hot pickled vegetables, and this is what you garnish your platter with. You just take these right off the deli counter at the grocery store, and it gives it a lot of color, and nice spicy little hot peppers all over the place. Make it look nice and pretty. And you can put out a little bit of little artichokes up there in the front. And there you go, that's the five minute antipasto platter.